Hey guys, welcome back to those of you returning and welcome to those of you that are new. I'm Beck and this is Budget with Beck. Oh, I just noticed <laughs> I'm not wearing my watch. Hello tan line. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So today we're going to be cash stuffing $406. About $290 will go into cash envelopes and then $65 will go into sinking funds. The only thing is, technically, I moved some of my cash envelopes as sinking funds, so really it's $240 in my wallet, $115 in my sinking funds, depending on how you want to see it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So, I have a little bit of a confession to make. You know how I said in my last video, Oh yeah, I'm gonna like buckle down and like stop my spending spree and like stop spending money. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> I uh, I have about um, $200 owing on my credit card that I did not budget for. So hashtag birthday month, I guess, but um, I'm ready to get back into it and get doing better and telling my money where to go so I don't wonder where it went tomorrow. Yep. It's so I owe about 200 bucks and I'm putting some of the money onto my credit card. So that's why we're kind of stuffing a little bit less than normal, but that's fine. I just, the only thing is like when you do something like that, it makes the rest of your budget suffer is kind of what I'm learning because it's like, I would like to stuff more into my categories, but alas, I decided to go on a spending spree and the majority of my spending was in fact eating out. That is where I went ham. I literally went ham and eating out. Like, ate out whenever I wanted to. Got coffee whenever I wanted to. Like, I just... I went ham. So, I'm seriously reeling it in. And I am not going to, like, be spending anymore. I'm going to try and do a no-spend September. I'm going to really try and do that. So, I have this guy no spend for the month of September. Because my paycheck falls on August 27th, it actually falls into September. So this paycheck is paying for bills in September. So really, this is a September paycheck. So my no spend is going to start effective of today. I really need to do better. Yes, August was fun and I had a great time, but I need to really put my goals back into place. There's things I want, things I need, so I need to do better, but give it grace and tomorrow's a new day. But today is the new day, so let's get her done, son. So yes, I'll be implementing this, uh, my no spends. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out the rollover binder. I'm actually in a little bit of a different spot, so the lighting might be a little bit dimmer. I'm hoping not, but uh, we'll see when I edit this. Okay. So groceries, I used $20 worth of points, so we have $20 cash left over. There's nothing left in my wallet, so this will go into the rollover, into Costco. So we have 20 if my pen would work. <laughs> which gives us a total of $170 into Costco. So gas, we have $20 left over. I'm actually gonna do something different with this. So I'm gonna hold it off onto the side. So we'll just leave it there and then Miscellaneous has nothing left, spending has nothing left, and dining out has nothing left. So that's it for this guy, for the rollover binder. Let's just move it off to the side for a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and start cash stuffing. So in groceries today, it will be getting $80. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. The other thing too is the fact that I think I might split up my weeks. So I get paid bi-weekly, so this amount would be used over the next two weeks. 
but I'm finding that I'm spending a lot in the first week and then I have nothing left in the second week. So what I'm going to do is after I'm done stuffing my envelopes, I'm actually going to pull out half of it and put it off to the side in a little drawer somewhere and then I'm going to only put half of it so that I have a certain amount for the first week and a certain amount for the next week. I know Kay, she stuffs Kay's wallet here on YouTube. Check her out. She's awesome. She budgets and does her stuffings weekly even though she gets paid bi-weekly. I don't think I want to go down that route considering all said and done. It'd be a lot of videos for me to edit. And good news, um, the editing software that I'm using, by the way, it's DaVinci Resolve. It's a free program. Very complicated, but hashtag YouTube videos are very helpful. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> so it'd be a lot of videos to edit. And um, I don't think I want to go down that route quite just yet, but um, that may be something in the future. So we have groceries, which is $80. Oh, and something else. So I had mentioned that I had purchased some new cash trackers. So I picked up a package of 60 of these and I'm going to start using them. I feel like they're quite professional, so they're really nice and I want to be a little more clean if you will with my budgeting because like if you look at this guy like okay this one's not bad <laughs> if you look at my dining out it's all messy and not very nicely written on I'd like to keep it like clean and have very few on these because I, I spent money on this like these were free. These were from um, Mitchy Rose. She had some free trackers and so I, I got them from her. But these I had to pay for. So you want to use them and make the, sure they're nice and get your bang for your buck, right? So I got some of these and I have 60 of them. They're double sided. So I'm going to start using these. Um, I'll throw this in here in the meantime. The only thing is they are very snug in these envelopes. So I might have to trim off a bit on the top and the bottom. They are snug as a bug in a rug and they stick out a little bit, which is fine. So I might trim them, but that's a little cumbersome. But alas, first, first world problems, right? <laughs> Anyways, we have six, $80 in groceries, gas. It will be getting $80 as well. Not as much as before. But, um, that's okay. It's, gas is still the same price. It's 134.9. Okay, so we're doing something a little bit different. Like I had mentioned, if we bring back my gas rollover binder. So we have $20 from rollover. But my goal is 200 so that gives us 190 I want to fully fund this envelope. So I'm taking $10 out of my wallet and I'm fully funding my gas. Normally I would just wait to do it, but I'm being incredibly impatient and I just want to fund this gas envelope and be done with it. So now for the rollover, we have 30, giving us a total of 200 and that was my goal. The other thing too you might be wondering is if you have rollover money from your gas envelope, would you put it into gas? Depending on the situation, yes, but I want to start funding for a new to me vehicle. So I want to have any rollover from my gas to go to the new vehicle um, to really start saving up because I should probably get a new vehicle this coming summer. So next summer, a year from now. So I'm going to really pinch my pennies and get my button gear and start saving for a new vehicle. I need about 10 grand. And as you guys know, we are, we're sitting at about 700 bucks. So I got some work to do, but slowly but surely we'll get there and um, we'll see what happens. Of course, take it every paycheck and just do your best at the end of the day. The other thing too is I'm kind of disappointed in myself with the whole spending of August and going on my spending spree of like, who cares? Just buy whatever. Um, I didn't actually put any money away into the Budget Moms savings challenges. So I'm a little bit disappointed there. I did put a little bit, but I didn't actually follow every week or every second week or every pay period the challenges. And she did some Instagram challenges that I didn't do either because 
I didn't have the cash on hand and I wasn't going to use my gas envelope because my gas is gas and it's expensive and I need it because I need to get to and from work. So, dun dun dun. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but you know what? <sighs> it's a new budget. It's a new day. Let's get her done, son. Okay, let's go ahead and put this $30 into the gas envelope. Ta-da! And then move this back off to the side. Okay, so now in gas we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. And this should last me the next two weeks. I did put $10. So the other thing too is I had $30 in here, but I had to put 10 into my tank. So I'm sitting at about a quarter of a tank right now. So this should be just enough for, to last me the next two weeks. Miscellaneous, it will be getting $20, which is a 10 and two fives. Spending will also be getting 20, which is a 10 and two fives. 10, 15, 20. Dining out, it will be getting $40. This is because in case I have to take my dad to an appointment, in case a friend is like, let's go out for lunch or for dinner, it will come out of dining out. So this is a just in case, use in case of emergency. Sorry, it'll be 20, 30, 35, 40. <sighs> Again, I'll only be putting 20 in at a time for this pay for this week. So I'll be pulling out 20. So it's only 20 a week. Okay. So that's it for the wallet. Let's go ahead and bring out the rollover binder so we can fill up our other cash envelopes from my wallet. <laughs> okay, so let's go to personal. Okay, so I have the th four categories. We have personal, we have haircut, vision, and dentist. So it's gonna go to vision. I always have to go through it to make sure to see which one I wanna put it into. So vision it is. And it will be getting $10, which is 110. So August 27th, savings, because it's not rollover anymore. Ten dollars, giving us a total of eighty. Next, we will be doing house or household. So August twenty seventh, saving. It will be getting a five dollars because this envelope is actually pretty good pretty stuffed. Again, because I went on a spending spree, I'm not filling up my envelopes as much as I would like. But alas, <laughs> you learn from your mistakes, right? <laughs> At least we hope so. And not to make them again. So pets, it will be getting 20, which is just 120. So now we have 120 in this envelope. Clothing will be getting 10. Um, I did actually go to the store and I um, bought some shoes and some socks for 50 bucks. The shoes were 40 and the socks were 10. So we went from 70 bucks to 20. And now we're adding another 10. I needed some runners for working out. So that's what I bought them. Bought them for. I haven't started working out. But I want to start in the very new, near future. Um, so plus 10. So now we have 30 again. And I do need more clothing. Like winter's coming. So. <gasps> okay. What did I say it was? It was a 10.
so fun. It has a few different categories, which is back at the front. So we have outing with friends, art show, and that's it. So I'm going to put it outing with friends and it will be getting a five. giving us a total of 80. By the way, I was reading some of your comments and I have yet to reply. You know how sometimes you get into your head and you're like, oh my gosh, am I like overthinking this? Am I like, am I being that person that is being like, oh my gosh, like I'm being so selfish right now because I think of this way. So in my last video I had mentioned about my friend's boyfriend joining us for the birthday dinner without being invited slash being self-invited slash she invited him yet yeah, didn't ask that whole situation. You guys agreed that it was not okay <laughs> and you know how much that validated me. Thanks. So I'm not out in left field being like oh gee like mm, that was rude. Okay. So thank you guys. I kind of thought maybe I was like being a little bit selfish about it, but apparently not. So thanks guys. I'm glad to know that I'm not just like being a big baby about it. That yeah, it, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> but oh well, alas, it is what it is. So, uh, but thank you guys. I love you. You're awesome. You're validating me in my thoughts. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. So this is it for our rollover binder. Go ahead and put it away. And before we get into our sinking funds, let's go ahead and do our popsicle pull. And don't worry, it won't be the same number this week. I have a new number. All right, let's pull a popsicle for the 26 week challenge. We're over halfway now. So that's exciting. And we have Dun, 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 51. Okay, we got the middle of the pack this week, or this pay period. Not bad, I will take that. I feel like every time I do these, I'm like, I'll take it. Mind you, when I got 103 or 99, I was like, no, 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 I don't want it. But these middle ones are okay. And the, and the lower side. <laughs> Okay, sinking funds time. All right, so car insurance, it got $50. So now we're at 450. Purses, glass and all. Pur purses, per, per, oh goodness. <laughs> I put glasses personal, I swapped the words. Glasses personal is not getting anything and again I have a eye appointment at the beginning of September so I'm hoping in September to get the new glasses with my new prescription if my eyes have changed. Pets vet it will be getting 50. Now it's at 4,500. We're halfway to my goal of 5,000 so we got 500 more to go. Emergency Okay, so this guy, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So in my binder here, my rollover binder, I have an emergency envelope. So it has $105, which it actually has 100. I have $5 in the account, um, but 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So there's 200 in here, yet the thing says 100 because of the way that I had managed my account online is I had pulled extra money to do my cash stuffing. So then I put um, the extra cash into here. So really there's $200. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put this $200 back into my bank account to make my online account. So in this binder, 
So with this online account, I want to put the money in here so that it's a little bit more consistent because this guy is it's getting a little bit confusing. Um, so I'm going to start this one from fresh again. So I'll put it at a zero balance for cash on hand while this one will have all the funds in it. So anything from my rollover, which is from my miscellaneous, will go into here as I'm saving for it. Yeah, but in the meantime, this will be getting updated and the money that will be in there is actually going to be so an extra 200 and we'll have a total of 2200 in the account so i'm going to go deposit this um, today to make sure that balance is correct all right so emergency is done overflow so I had left over $7.24, giving us a total of $36.74 in this rollover. TFSA is not getting anything. My points. Okay. Whew, this is dropping quickly. <laughs> so now we're at $109,804 points which is a total of $109. Um, so that's the update for this pay period. We went from 188 to 109. Um, I had used some points as you had seen with the $20 rollover. Okay, time to get into the cash stuffing. All right, so Buffer is not getting anything today because I spent too much. Car maintenance, I've had to make some adjustments and this guy will only be getting $25 instead of its normal 50. So I had to put money on my credit card to pay for some of the spending. So can't stuff the normal. It'll be getting the 25, which is a 20 and a five. Like I said before, you only make your other category suffer. <laughs> The regret is setting in. Okay, um, so next would be new car, which is in the other folder. Um, there's nothing else in here that I'm funding because don't have the funds for it. But if we go into electronics, it will be getting 15 instead of its normal 30. So now we have 335. And it will be getting a 10 and a 5. All right, let's swap binders. Time for new car. So this guy will be getting 25 instead of its normal 50. So now we have 725. Um, one thing to note is that the money that I have put onto my credit card is not the full balance that I need to pay it off with. It's only about half, give or take, if that. So I'll have to also suffer next pay period when I do my cash stuffing and put some money to it as well. <laughs> Ugh, regrets. Thing, things have been done. Decisions have been made. Oh boy. Oh well. It is what it is, but uh, it will be getting 25 as well. Okay, so if I did everything correctly, this should be, as you guys know, $51. 20, 40, 51. Booyah, baby. I did it. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Feeling accomplished. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out right till the end. You guys are amazing. Your comments are wonderful. You guys are just the best. This is the best community. I'm so happy to be a part of it. All right. So without further ado, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe buttons and all that jazz. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for hanging out and wish me luck for this next pay period that I do better. 
All right. Uh, we'll chat with you guys later. Have a good day. Bye, guys.